Hey guys, welcome back to Lesson 40. So, wait, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And it's uh, Lesson 40 of uh, doing coding here uh, on uh, this is, I think, third, yeah, the third lesson in Python. In today's video, we're going to be doing a simple uh, percentage calculator with a uh, some new stuff. Uh, so let's get started. So basically, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make a little game or, or some sort. Of, I would I would say f uh, program. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh like we're gonna prompt the user to say like uh, enter num. So we're gonna prompt the user to enter the num. We're gonna give the text here. And let's say the user enters five. Then right underneath, we're gonna prompt the user again. Do you want to continue? Yes or no? And if the um, when the user says no, it will break out of the loop, which is uh, which will uh, it, okay. So wait, let me explain. There's gonna be a loop here. This is a loop plane. Okay. So the yes, if you if you taps yes, it will go back uh, up and go ahead and uh, prompt the user again for the numbers. If not, then what will happen is that it will break out the loop. Now, uh, if the numbers uh, are like, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a a, a new t uh, variable which is gonna be our numbers. There, we're gonna store numbers, and they're gonna be stored in our different variables which we can then use to count and then show the user how many. How many numbers they have given? What the percentage is? What the total? What the number? Uh, if we add them all together, what number do you get? So to start off, we add the main, which is gonna be our loop. Uh, we're just gonna call it main. This is this is what the main part is gonna be. So the numbers here is equals to the square brackets. This means that we're making a list and we're making an empty list because we're gonna be adding. And, uh, uh, adding uh, items to that list now while true this is a while function and while it's true it will keep on playing now try you guys can see this is the try statement and it has a statement that specifies an exception and we're looking up code for those statements so we're going to use this here so try num is equal to floats input then enter a number there. So as you guys can see, the float is a built-in function which will convert a string or a number into a floating point a number if possible. Basically, this means that we can interpret numbers uh, or into strings. So we can uh, basically use uh, functions that we're supposed to use. So let's use strings uh, on. We can use uh, those on the numbers now because of that float. Which we'll go ahead and make our integer here into a string. So now we are do we're doing number uh, numbers dot append num, which means that this will basically add the number that has been inputted into our numbers list. And choice is equal to and input then we prompt the user uh, do you want to add another number and then we're gonna give the user a few answers yes slash wait yeah yes or, or no get that there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead actually no Okay, uh, there. Now, if the choice is not is equals to quote unquote, then what we're gonna do is yes, then we play break. This will break out the loop and it will stop playing the function. So, this is a statement again and it will break out of the loop when it's played. Now we go, 
down here I said uh, basically stop the try here and accept which is with that comes with the try statement accept value error basically the value error is an error which is raised when the function uh, or a built-in uh, operation receives an argument of the correct type but does does not have a suitable value basically meaning that is this value wait sorry numbers so value error will be raised when let's say you have uh, input in the prompt and then with the input you uh, you have a, you have a function but the thing is you have not converted you because input here this is for strings this is for strings it's not like prepared to have numbers so you uh, add the float and you can now go ahead and basically manipulate your input as if it was if it, as if it were a string so now accept the value error what will, what will happen now is that we will go ahead and we will accept this so instead of pasting an error inside the console it, we will go ahead and tell the computer uh, to uh, print this so input please invalid input please enter a valid number and what this will do is basically it will go ahead and it will go ahead and uh, instead of raising the value error, it will go ahead and print this for us. I'm gonna restart the video there because we need time and I, yeah. So now for the next part, we break outside of the while function, which is gonna be the second line. Oops, I cannot create a straight line, but should use this instead so outside of this line we're gonna break out and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start writing if numbers now as you guys see we haven't given anything as the like for what if so if numbers equals two more if numbers equals to what then if no is easier to do this that whatever I can explain right now why we have done it this will basically play as soon as this goes down here so now what this if is it's and basically it doesn't have a statement attached to it so it will play uh, directly even though there is no condition for it to run it will run uh, so total is equal to sum. Now we're making a new variable. Total is equal to sum numbers. And then we're going to make a count, which is equal to length of the numbers. And then we're going to add an average, which is equal to the total divided by the count. And then we're going to print uh, slash n. Entered numbers, and now we can we can go ahead and so print total equals to total print average yeah average. That will be an average current count. No, actually, number of no, yeah, number of in integers given. Gonna sound very professional here for no absolutely no reason. And yeah, else we will go ahead and print no numbers have been entered now what's going to happen is that it's taking the total is taking the sum of numbers sum of numbers and length of numbers and putting them into two separate variables which is the total and the count and then we have an average variable which is the total divided by the count 
if you don't know how to do average it is the total amount divided oh, by the count basically meaning if i have digits like oh my goodness if i have digits like five uh, uh, three four six what happen is that the average for this would be five plus 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 so 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 6, that's 18. So 18, and then we count how many numbers there are, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 numbers, which means that the uh, the total, so the sum of all numbers upon the amount of numbers given. So this is how we calculate average and we have put that into a python function here not a function really it's some, it is a function and yeah so it's a simple little thing there if you didn't know that now you know yeah so if i'm just going to just gonna name i'm just going to score as you can see here, if i'm just going to just name here. boom because it's so I'm just gonna just gonna name and just call it main and this is where we play the main loop. So this is where we put the main loop inside of this if statement right there and this is our code finished. So enter a number. Hmm. Enter the number seven. No. So the amount of numbers is seven point zero. Now if it uh, it didn't uh, wait hi wait we focus on this later the total is seven because seven plus nothing is seven average is seven I absolutely uh, yeah because the number was seven seven couldn't be added so the average was seven and the amount of numbers here is one so seven upon one is equals to seven so the answer would be seven <coughs> and then we have the number of integers given which is one. Now we can go ahead and run this again. Enter number seven. Oh, wait, what? It's five. Yes. Twenty-three. Uh, let's write yes with a capital, like it says in the example. Oh no, it has given us our answer here. Why? Because look here. Uh, if I go back here, we have put if choice is not is equals to yes. And this is yes in lowercase. Now to fix this issue, we can just go ahead and choose dot lower. This will uh, put. This is a function that we can use on strings. And what will this will do is this will just take choice and convert it down to lowercase. And then we can go ahead and <clears throat> use these equals to there. So now what if I spell major numbers? If I write in. Uh, capital letters everything it will keep on going and if I write anything else but yes it will go ahead and give me my answer here so that is how you make this little program hope you guys learn something new keep in mind I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be using some of these functions in the next video so make sure to know these because then we're gonna make a nice project in a few, le in a few lessons time and yeah see you guys in the next video